everyone. Good day. Nice to see you again. Last time I make a made a video to show you how to test the quality of our chargers. We can make a review. There are two ways to test the quality. First, we can use the electric load like HD35 to trigger the quick charge mode it spots. Set the max voltage. Then increase the voltage uh, current slowly until it reaches the max value. And uh, we can check if the voltage drop higher than 0 0.5 volt. If so, the quality is not so good. The second way leave the charger working on the full power situation. Then wait 10 minutes. Check the temperature change. If the temperature increases a lot, the quality is not so good. Maybe it's bad. But as we all know, when we are charging our phones, we use two things, charger and USB cables. So if the charging speed is not so fast, there are two reasons. One, the quality of the charger is not so good. Two, the quality of the cables is not so good. Today, I will test several USB cables to show you how to choose a better cable to charge the phones faster. Here are the USB cables need to test. We can call them USB cable A, cable B, and the cable C. Cable C. And the testing tools are our devices. UM25C and the electric load HD35. First, we can check the hardness of the cables. Usually, soft USB cables have good quality and the harder USB cables quality is not so good. And we can have a test. It's harder. It's soft. So, the result is cable cable B is harder than cable A and cable A is harder than cable C. Then we can check the charging current when we use the same phone. The remaining battery should be about 50% so it can show you the accurate current. If the remaining battery is over 90% or less than 10%, the current is very, very slow. Uh, uh, the current is very, very small. So you cannot judge the quality. Okay, we will test from cable A to cable C. Insert our USB tester, UM25C, and connect to the phone. Use
cable E, cable B, cable C. We can take, we can write the data on this paper. Okay. Insert the cable. The current of the cable A is 1.62 amperes. Then we test cable B. The current is zero point ninety four ampere. Okay, test the last cable, cable C. The current is one point seven. Here we can know the result. The current value cable C higher than cable A. Cable B is the lowest current value. According to the data, we can know that when we are charging the phone, if the current value is not so high, maybe we are not have a bad charger. Maybe the reason is you have a USB cable which makes you charge so slow. Then I want to do more tests on these cables. I can measure the cable resistance about these cables with these tools, a USB meter and an electric USB load. Do that from cable A to cable C. Do you know how to test the cable resistance of the uh, USB cable? If you have a UM25C, you can check the introduction and uh, it's written inside. Long pressed the next button to record the first data. Then remove UM25C and uh, Insert here. Now press the next button, and you if you see the test error, we need to do it again.
adjust data to 0 0.5. The current must be the same. So the cable resistance is zero point three two five. Then we can do the same operation to the other cables. This is cable B. Long press next button. The resistance here. Record it. Just cable C. The resistance is the value is much smaller. Maybe it is short. That's uh, one reason. See the length. It's shorter than these two. Record the And uh, you can see the data value here. The resistance value of cable B is much higher than cable A and cable C. So the current is smaller. Of course, The cable resistance is not the value to influence the current. Maybe the quality of the USB port can influence the current too. Now you can know if your phone is charging not so quick. There are many, many reasons. First, your charger is not so good. Second, maybe you should have a better cable to charge your phone. And a good USB cable should have this cortex. First, low cable resistance second 
a good USB port. Today, I just show you how to test the cable resistance of micro USB port cables. And you can do the same operation on your Type C USB cables. You can know, you can see there is a micro USB port on this side, and on the other side, there are two Type C ports. So you can use your Type C USB cables to test their cable resistance. All these testers can be operated at your home if you have a UM25C and a HD35 electronic load. If you have any uh, advice or questions, please leave comments below this video and let me know you are you have questions to ask and I will reply them as soon as possible. Thank you.